Hi, Jeremy Morgan here, and I'm going to show you the easiest and best way to set up one of these, the Raspberry Pi 5. Let's go. So we're going to use something called the RPI Imager, and it's basically the same application in Windows, Mac, or Linux. So whatever you're running on, this will probably work. Go to raspberrypi.com slash software. And we'll download the Windows version, and we'll open it up and click Install. We'll run the program. And now I'm going to insert my SD card into my laptop. And I started up the program, and here I can choose the device. And I'll choose the Raspberry Pi 5. And I'm going to choose the 64-bit with the desktop. Now, notice you can install several different operating systems, as you can see here. And I'll select Choose Storage and select my SD card. Now it asks if I want to apply OS customization settings. This is important. I'm going to choose yes, and you'll see why. There are a few awesome options here to connect to your Wi-Fi network and open up your SSH ports, things like that that are really handy. So I'm going to name this RPI Vision, and then I'll set a username and password. Now in the past, you had to log in with a default Raspberry Pi login and then create an account or change the password. Now there's no need for that. And next, I'll configure my wireless LAN. This way, I don't have to worry about plugging in an Ethernet cable or trying to connect a monitor to my Raspberry Pi so that I can connect to my wireless network. This way, it'll all automatically connect once the Pi boots up. And then I'll set my locale and scroll all the way down to US for the wireless LAN country. Next, under Services, I want to enable SSH. This way, I can communicate with my Raspberry Pi after it boots up and it's connected. Again, this makes the Raspberry Pi install process like plug and play. And then I'll click Save, and then Yes at this prompt. And it asks if I want to erase the card. I'll select Yes. Now it's going to start writing my image. Awesome. Now it's been installed. I can pull the card out and put it in my Raspberry Pi. And now I'll power up the Raspberry Pi. Now here's how you can find Raspberry Pis on your network if you're in Windows. You can open up a command prompt and do an ARP search for the last three octets of your MAC address, which will match a Raspberry Pi 5 using this command. Older Pis will use this command. It'll be ARP-A, pipe it to find string, but it will be B8-27-EB. Now I run this command and you can see an IP address. So if I want to connect to that, I'm going to type in Jeremy at 10.0.0.160. And I'll enter in the login details that I added back in the installation process. And I'm in. But what if I want to view the Raspberry Pi desktop? Let's go ahead and set that up as well. Let's configure a few things here. We're going to type in sudo raspy-config. Go into System Options, and then Boot Auto Login, and select Desktop Auto Login. And then go down to Advanced Options, and select Expand File System. This way, we're using the whole SD card. Now let's finish and reboot the Pi. Now, back at the terminal, I'm going to run the following commands to install the desktop environment. I'm going to do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And then we'll type in sudo apt-get install raspberry pi-ui-mods, then xinit and xserver-xorg. This is going to install all of our desktop stuff that we need. And I've already got it installed here, but we just want to make sure. Now let's reboot. Now finally, we can install XRDP and we'll be ready to connect. So we'll do sudo apt install XRDP. And now we load up remote desktop with our IP address and voila, there it is. And now we can see the Raspberry Pi desktop in all its glory. So it's that easy to get set up. This is the way I prefer to set it up now. And I use DD and images and stuff for years, but this is way easier. And one of the big benefits of this is not only are you able to select through a bunch of different operating systems easily, but that post-installation config stuff is awesome. You can create your own account, you can connect to a Wi-Fi network and open up SSH and have all that ready to go on the very first time you boot your Pi, which is super handy. And as a part of this video, I showed you how to set up remote desktop in case instead of SSH, you want to use the desktop of the Raspberry Pi without plugging in a monitor and keyboard and all that stuff. So if you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my channel.